Hey folks, Jeff here with my beautiful and amazing assistant Lorena. Thanks for joining us on another episode of our build. There's a lot going on, as always. Getting in windows, getting up the final door, everything in preparation to get this final wall up. Stick with us to the end, see just how far we get on the final wall. How long were they? Five inches, no? Five and a half inches. I remember.
that's how you do it. everyone this is Jeff Lorena and whiskey and we are preparing to put up the fourth wall and that is a lot of things to be done <laughs> yep it's been a pretty busy morning already a lot of prep work goes into putting these walls up they don't just uh, go up I mean uh, first thing we had to do was change the way all the tin was stacked because of course uh, it was stacked wrong because we pulled it off another pile anyway you got to organize it so you can organize it uh, now we got it all organized and lined up so that we can do our pre-drilling well we like to do the pre-drilling very last because once you pre-drill it that leaves like uh, filings uh, from the drill bit between every sheet and you know you can then unstack it and clean everyone off to get those filings out of there or you just do it as close to you can to where you're putting up the tin and then uh, we clean it as we go and it doesn't sit very long but you know if it stays overnight and then we get a rainstorm that stuff will those those little filings will rust uh in like 24 hours so uh it's always a challenge to you know find that balance and uh be as efficient as efficient as we can and that's uh you know kind of what we're dealing with so before we get to that uh, we need to start putting up our thermal brake tape mm -hmm. and getting that lined out. And then we're, uh, we'll we start preparing to uh, put those walls up. So kind of let me show you what the game plan is. Okay, so here's the last wall. We've already got our uh, spacers or girt supports, whatever you want to call them, in there. Uh, so that's all ready to go. We'll get our uh, thermal brake tape on there and everything. We've got the door up and the uh, jam trim and everything is already on the door, ready to go. And uh, we can put our tin on all the way over to this window. Once we hit the windows, we need to go to town and get some uh, trim. We didn't have enough trim for all the windows. Uh, we need some J channel for the bottom of the windows and then uh, a couple other pieces for I think the last window we didn't have anything left for that so uh that's we you know we got to get the trim before we can put the the siding up and uh the challenge we've got on this one which is going to be a major challenge is the purlins you know run through the wall so uh you can see up there where those purlins are now we've got the uh rake angles welded on there so that that's our screw surface that line al along the top there uh, but each one of these pieces of tin that uh, goes up where there's a purlin we've got to cut just right so that we can uh, wrap it around that purlin just as close as we possibly can so that's going to be a little work, you know, to figure out and develop our processes. And, you know, so we're just going to be real slow starting out. So that's why we figured out, let's go ahead and uh, avoid running to town. Right now, we try not to go to town any more than we have to, just based on the price of fuel. But uh, we'll start putting that, I don't know how many sheets of tin that is to get to that wall. I want to say six sheets we counted. So we'll probably get those first six sheets up and then we'll worry about going to town and getting the trim. For now, we're just gonna keep moving forward. So anyway, that's where we're at. Stick with us and let's see how it goes. All right, folks, we got the first piece of tin standing up, but we still got some work to do. Now I gotta go up and uh, mark it off, see if I can trim out to fit inside the eave as best as possible. 
and then we'll slide it over to the tinlet edge and start screwing it on.